crikey, this is mad. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to... Um, <laughs> right, so yeah, I'm going to attempt to condense 12 months into 12 minutes. Um, yeah, so Up Trees was my project that kind of started quite randomly, and it was um, a kind of, it, it became a sort of a cerebral attempt to sort of solve some of the world's problems um, combined with the sort of uh, primitive kind of primal activity of climbing trees. Um, and each tree was a kind of uh, art project of its own. Um, and it kind of certainly changed and possibly ruined my life um, for a year. So uh, this is the first tree. It um, was quite nicely, it was in a, uh, a children's playground. And um, it was that one of those moments where I had the idea and I thought, shall I start this tomorrow? And um, then I thought, no, no, start today. And I'm, I'm, you know, I wonder if I still wonder if I would have started it uh, tomorrow. It's one of those questions. How did it all start? Well, um, these are sort of put some of the inspirations. The, the Man Who Planted Trees is a brilliant animation. Um, uh, this is a sequoia in, uh, in, in the Redwoods, and I found this in a National Geographic, and I just was really struck by the kind of, the, the, the powerful, I mean, this is, these are little, the little red dots of people, and I thought, I want to do that. And, um, and then the two days before the, uh, before the project started, um, I went to Ruth's uh, pirate party, and her husband, Mike, uh, is a bit of an imp, and he um, had a, a kind of a, a game where he uh, was pu putting this pirate hat in a tree, and then you had to climb up, and the next person had to kind of climb up and put, get the hat and put it further up. And I, and I climbed the tree, and I thought, oh, this is really cool. And, uh, and then two days later, I was doing the project. Um, perhaps also, though, it was my brother, who, um, when I was about three, um, was pushing me up into the, the next branch of the tree, telling me the tall people were, were chasing us. Um, uh, so, um, the first couple of weeks, it was, like, really exciting. You know, it was like, uh, you know, meeting people, the, the whole kind of uh, rediscovering the city, um, getting close to nature, sort of doing something physical. Um, but I have this kind of urge to kind of do something, you know, about something. So I thought, and uh, I thought, it's kind of going to get boring after, you know, I don't know how long I can sustain this for myself. So then I started to um, uh, invite people to climb with me. And this is the... Uh... Well, I'm up a tree. It's quite a popular pastime. It's a popular <laughs> tree. But dum -ch -ch dong any questions? Uh, well, what's the first thing that comes to mind about trees? Well, first thing that comes to mind. It's like the last thing that comes to mind, isn't it? Um, started off quite informally, really. Um, so uh, Maria, uh, she's a school friend, uh, a Middle Eastern dancer, and we uh, were in Southampton graveyard drinking wine. Um, getting quite drunk, and we um, spoke about how we wanted to be buried, um, and she wants to run a sort of eco, uh, kind of live in a sort of eco paradise kind of thing. Who doesn't, I suppose? Angus Barr, um, he's an actor, and um, as himself, he's quite pessimistic about the kind of future of um, the world. Uh, but as his character, Mr. Baxter, um, he was quite optimistic and thought, you know, as uh, we'll get out of our problems through ec ec economics and, uh, and science. Um, so, yeah, to keep things interesting, I did various um, kind of stunts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the king of the world! <laughs> this is one of my favourite trees. Um, I ran around this park to all the different picnics, trying to get um, 50 people in a tree. It was this guy's 40th birthday, and the whole tree sang happy birthday for him. How does it feel to be 40? Um, You're taking girls in, literally. Um, so yeah, we managed about 45, if you include the eight-month pregnant uh, woman, who so the baby was the 45th um, person. <laughs> Uh, what's next? Oh yeah, so this is my um, GCSE art project that was rejected uh, at school. 
by my teacher, my art teacher, and I thought, right, I'm going to bloody well do it 18 years later. <laughs> and um, this is when I started to give myself uh, qualifications. And um, I actually ended up with an MA, would you believe it? <laughs> this is, this is uh, me celebrating my MA. <laughs> no, no, it was, uh, it was New, Year's, <laughs> New Year's Eve <laughs> in Norway. Um, so I, I met loads of people, and um, she was really into birds, like a crazy bird woman. She was a politician, uh, a union rep, but my little brother, um, uh, oh, crikey, um, a war veteran. Uh, he, he was an anarchist. Uh, he, he's a poet. He ran the People's Republic of Stokes Croft. There's, uh, 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 that was Luke Jerram who gave a... Um, a lost lectures talk a couple of months ago. Uh, those guys were probably stoned. Um, uh, and yeah, loads of, I mean, loads and loads of people. I've got, it's ridiculous how much material I've got, um, like thousands of pictures and, and, and hours and hours and hours of, um, of interviews. Uh, yeah, it's a daisy and a, and a plastic cow. That was for Valentine's Day. I thought, what, how am I gonna, what am I gonna do for Valentine's Day, so. Um, yeah, quite, quite an accusation. Yeah, it's hard, hard for it to live down. The accusation is not only is it, um, is it, is it um, based on, on the ludicrous idea that growth can continue indefinitely, but it's going to destroy the entire planet. The, the lean economy is going to be completely different from the market economy we have at the moment. It's just going to be about rediscovering society and rediscovering relationships between people and, and rediscovering sort of con contacts and community and networks and co conversation and, uh, and, and engaging with the life we've actually got rather than sort of floating above it uh, on a sort of cloud of um, money and exchange and security. So that was um, da uh, David Fleming, who I was honoured to meet d just two weeks um, before he died. He joined me in a beautiful tree in Hampstead Heath. And um, I've, got his, I've got a copy of his book that he was just literally finishing when I, when I met him. Um, and uh, yeah, Lean, lean Logic. Um, you can have a look at it. It's over by the, anyway, over by the stall over there. Uh, so, yes. Countries. I ended up um, climbing through Britain, um, France, Spain, Italy, Germany, uh, Austria, Switzerland, Denmark, Holland, Germany, and I got stuck in Norway. Um, I ran out of money and I'd sort of decided not to fly for environmental reasons. And um, that's what happened, except, okay. Um, this is the, the, tr the Christmas tree that was given to uh, that is given to, to London from uh, by Norway uh, for the war, and um, I climbed that. That was where it was born, and uh, that's the one that the, the students set on fire in Trafalgar Square. And I get, there's a whole 20-minute talk just about this one tree, but I'll come back to it a little bit of that later. Um, okay, so I've sort of inadvertently or semi by mistake built myself as a, as a failed activist and environmentalist, and I do that there is some truth in that, um, but I sort of have to qualify that now, uh, now that it's in the kind of program. Um, this was something I enjoyed doing, um, breaking the law uh, by putting my little sign, if you can see the, the tiny little sign up in the tree, um, it says, This tree is growing in the hope of change. And uh, <laughs> The failure is how small it is, <laughs> uh, <laughs> and uh, the, the amount of risk involved, because uh, it's pretty strict in Norway, and uh, secondly, that it was taken down the following day, um, and probably nobody saw it. <laughs> um, Rehab Road, this is a kind of an offshoot project. Um, I stood on, oh, this is eight, on April the 1st, I stood on, on this street where, uh, it's quite a famous street where they, um, they're going to chop all the trees down because of the pollution. And um, it's quite ironic because there's a whole song about those trees, a kind of famous Norwegian song. Um, and I was petitioning them, uh, I was petitioning people, stopping people on the street. Uh, would they sign the petition, uh, you know, supporting this whole street being turned into a park, that it was, it was probably going to happen, you know, would you support it? And it's 1.8 kilometers long. Um, I've got about 30 signatures, so I suppose that's a sort of a failure. <laughs> Um, in terms of an opportunity to, to reach an audience, um, this is uh, pretty much prime time Norwegian television, and I was given eight minutes to um, to talk about tree climbing, and um, 
I didn't mention that it was going to be a book or the website, and I had this whole vision of me being um, kind of, you know, this sort of 1970s kind of passionate kind of speaker, you know, giving, you know, come on Norway, you know, we need to put, you know, and in the end I was just sort of shitting myself trying to get through it, you know, uh, complete with this chef, you know, like how to cook. Uh, so on that note, <laughs> it will be a book, and this is my contact details, and please look up the website. Yeah, Velmont here, she's a brilliant uh, book designer I've just met recently, so the book is happening. Um, anyway, uh, this guy here is a kind of a hero. He sort of pretty much set up the, the equivalent of um, Greenpeace in Norway. It's, the, it's called the, the Future in Our Hands. And he met me, but he refused to climb a tree with me. He said the project was silly. <laughs> um, and that the, 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 the subject matter was far too serious. Um, <laughs> um, but we met, and he said one of the things he said was, you know, why aren't people more angry, you know, with, with, with the problems, with, the, with, the, with how we're being kind of screwed, you know? Um, with, with the, you know and he said the economists were, were, were mostly to blame for, for blocking the change. Anyway, this is me sitting in a tree and thinking, what the hell am I doing? <laughs> um, climbing trees every day. I mean, it was actually brilliant, um, but there were days where I was thinking, <laughs> this is ridiculous. Um, yeah, but it sort of, it became very much a personal journey, you know, a walkabout, I suppose. Um, oh, uh, this is a therapy session. I thought I'd cut this slide out. Um, that I did in a tree <laughs> with this guy. Apparently that's the wrong movement. That's the wrong position. <laughs> so I'm, I'm wondering how to end this project, you know, and um, obviously I'd imagine falling out of trees several times. So I thought I would stage it. Um, <laughs> and um, uh, as you can imagine, well, not as you can imagine anything, um, <laughs> One of the ways I thought to end it, uh, this is honestly just a fleeting, in case the CIA think about um, assassinating me one day, um, I have ego problems. Um, <laughs> uh, I thought to hang myself from a tree, you know, to end it, and that, you know, teach them. Uh, it really was meaningful after all, you know, but it, literally that was just a moment. I don't want to do that. <laughs> um, okay, this tree here was cut down to make way for this cabin um, and it became that I helped to build and it became also became my art project to end uh, this forest exhibition um, and uh, I was really chuffed because a bird actually made a nest in, in, one, in part of it um, and I took some of this tree to a factory where they turned it into paper for me and then coming back to the Trafalgar Square tree I traced the rings um, of that tree and sent an image of the, the, the tracing to a carpenter in India, who, um, Puneet Dadu, he's a brilliant, brilliant carpenter, and he turned it into this printing block. And you can now amazingly buy <laughs> prints <laughs> of um, Puneet's uh, amazing block on uh, climbed paper. Amazingly cheap, brilliant gifts. <laughs> Not a capitalist at all. <laughs> so this is actually how it ended, with a family tree party. Um, and uh, as the project went on, I kind of got uh, more of a sense of connection. I was thinking about family and, you know, and actually that we're all, we're all cousins, you know, we are actually all cousins. And, and, and actually all, all of you guys were invited to the party. Um, Sorry if you didn't get an invite, um, because I just, yeah, I got that sense of the connectedness, I guess, perhaps because of the trees and, and roots and branches and thinking about how everything is interrelated, you know. Um, do I need to say anything more about that? No. <laughs> this dude here, he's like my great, 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 great grandfather, and just on the subject of family and a little bit of name dropping, um, he played organ here for five years. Hey, so it's really nice to, to come back and uh, kind of be able to say that. And uh, he wrote the music for Once in Royal David City. Three. 
<laughs> so this is another offshoot project. I'm, I'm, I'm drawing to the, the end now. Um, 444 trees. It's the number of tons that I have, um, I have spent in my life. Uh, and it's also the number of trees that I need to plant to kind of soak up those, um, those tons. So I'm trying to plant, uh, get a tree planted in every country of the world and get people to dedicate their tree. I'm not going to go to those countries myself. Get people to de dedicate the tree to something or somebody or an idea. And again, uh, to make another book. Um, uh, this is the first tree um, we planted. This is my dad and my mum. And uh, in terms of the significance of this for me, um, I'd never had a conversation with these two people in the same place until last year. So that tree is quite significant, and it was a nice way to end the project. So it all felt like it was worth it, even if I'm a failed environmentalist. I ended up flying home. <laughs> <laughs> Something came out of it. Um, so these are seeds I planted in 2010, and these are those trees. So, um, uh, yes, I'm wondering if there's four people here who would like to get involved with this project, uh, a little competition, and a tree planting. Is anyone here who might, might, might get involved with that? Yeah, one over there, one there, one there. Oh, okay, loads of people. Great. Um, whoever's f first comes, first serve. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get a picture? I want. Uh, uh, oh, you're a man. I need one man. <laughs> we need one man. We need at least one man. <laughs> um, now, the competition. The competition is the first person to climb their tree is the winner. <laughs> I'll climb my tree. Um, now. You were here first, weren't you? Yeah, I was. But I'm sorry. Thank you. Can I can I get a picture? In fact, I want your email addresses because um, I want to be able to. Um, <laughs> I hadn't thought of that. That's you know that's clever. Um, no, but I, I want to be, you know, I need you to be able to send me a picture of where you put it, and, um, and perhaps you can dedicate it to somebody. Okay. Lastly, I need to thank all those people I stepped on to get where I am, the, the dizzying heights of, uh, of this stage here, and obviously the lost lectures for having me, and um, no, but seriously, loads of people who've waited, and am I way over time? I am. I'm, 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 this is it. I'm gone. I'm gone. Um, yeah, loads of people who waited for me get put me up through over the course of the year, you know, as I was being a hobo, um, well, and continuing to be, actually. Um, so, yeah, and thank you for listening. And please, I'm, I'm posting a, a tree from each of the days of the year for the next year on each of the days. Please buy a print. <laughs> Make me rich. <laughs>